Hey people, Broken Puppet, and this is how to draw an old school skull with two roses. Enjoy. All right, people, how to draw an old school skull in two roses. Now, I'm going to be doing this on the iPad with Procreate. You can do this on whatever medium you want, paper, you can use pencils, paints, markers, whatever you want. The only main difference here, and that's when I sketch out, I'm going to be using a red, mark, uh, red pencil. On normal paper, I just use a normal pencil, because normal pencil is much easier to rub out. So I'm going to start with, just going to sketch in, give me two seconds, create a new layout, sketch in a circle, sketch in a box, just near the bottom, more to this side, cutting in about, maybe about two thirds of the way across, diagonal line up, out a little bit, just connect them back up there. Then we're going to bring a curved line just coming off the top, curving down through that box, and one across just here. Now, this gives us the basic rough box shape of what we're going to be using. So, I'm going to zoom in and we'll start with the detail parts. I'm going to start with the nose. So, where this line comes across and meets, it's roughly where I want the tip of my nose. So, I'm going to curve that down, create a little dip in the middle. Great up and connect it back up to that top. Off this side, I'm going to make an eye, so about halfway through the nose height. So I want to start it. So I'm going to curve here, curve around. So you curve down a little bit, a little sort of wonky line coming down, curve back into it. Now, where the tip of that eye bit is, I'm going to create a little curve like this, just coming off of it, and that shows us the height to put the other eye. So we want it roughly about the same height. So we're going to come down now. Leaving a little bit gap here, bigger gap here than here. Come across, I'm going to create a little dip. Just there, so it's not a perfect circle. Curve this line up. Come across, I'm going to create a little curve off. That corner bit just there. Now drawing a line down from where that nose bit is. Roughly to where this box bit is. This is where I want the teeth. Now it's important to make sure we've got enough gap between here and here. Roughly about the same. Each tooth is going to be like a teardrop shape. So we're going to come from a point down and back up. I'm going to go one, two, one, two. So you've got two middle ones, two to the side just there. I'm going to create one here, one here, one across just there, and I'm going to create ones underneath to match it. And then I'm going to create a little curve just off the edge of this tooth. Come up quite high so there's not too much of a gap here. Bringing this out, bending that line just a little bit so it's not perfect line. I don't want to be dead perfect straight lines. So just create little bends here and there. This line's going to come back up, follow this eye shape, and this corner, we're going to bring this back, like so. Now, with this bottom teeth just here, I'm going to bring this line up, curve here. Once we get to about here, I'm going to create this little dip here. It's going to dip up. And I want it to go underneath this, so it's going to touch this. Carry on as if it goes underneath this a little bit. Curve down. And then I'm going to create a second curve on that line we just done here. And then I'm going to curve out with the jaw. Come back up and join there. So I said roughly about the same space between the nose and there. I'm going to bring this line up here. I'm going to create this curve out a little bit. Nothing too much. Full around that eye shape. Create a little curve just off of there. Come up fairly straight from top of that. And then following that rough head shape around that circle. And come back underneath that jaw part. Just there. That's your basic shape for your skull. So it's going to create another layer now. 
I'm going to select the airbrush tool in here. This is just basically what I'm going to use it as a pen tool. And I'm just going to go over all of that now in the black pen. Being old school, I'm going to keep most of the width generally the same. If I was doing near traditional or being a bit flash, I'd probably use a different kind of line weights where the line thickness gets different in different areas. For near traditional, I normally use about three to four different line weights. Old school, normally one to two. Don't worry about getting things 100% dead perfect. With old school, sometimes those odd little incorrect lines just here and there where it's a little bit misshapen, often adds to the character of it. Because you know, this comes from a sort of period where like you had sailors and sort of people like that were sort of doing designs. And they didn't have like perfect sort of like, you know, tools for sort of shading and sort of like getting accurate sort of uh, designs and stuff. So a lot of this stuff was inaccurate, it wasn't perfect. So that would do for that, so I'm just going to take off those bits, so that's the basic what we're left with. So I'm going to put a few little details now just on this, a few little cracks, so I might go, yeah, just a touch small on my line. I'm going to create a little crack just through here, one just there. And yeah, I think that'll do it for that. Now I'm going to do some black and grey shading inside it. And inside the eyes, you can black these out or you can put a colour. I like to put colour in this section, this section, and that section. But just on the outside, we're going to have some roses. So I'm going to switch back to the red quickly. Just let me sketch it tool, so basically a pencil. I'm going to put these in. So, a rough circle here for the main body part of that. I'm going to have one up there. So, two roses. Start with this one. So, you've got the circle. I'm going to create like a V coming out of it. One, two curves. One, two curves. Create another one just off there. You can't see too much of it because it began underneath the skull. Curve line just off of that circle part. And create a circle just there. Might have another one, two, just there. So we're basically just building up a little bit of shape to this. So just create little lines just around those two bits. I'm going to create a loop, then another loop just there. So that's the basic body of it. And I'm just going to create some petals on the outside. The petals I'm going to create a curve, curve the other way to a point, and curve back. I was going to do these and overlap a couple. Like so. So I can go there. It's going to bring a long V line outwards. Create a curve to it from the sides. It's one leaf. A little bit just there. Another V curve. Curve and a little one. I'm going to pretty much do the same thing on the other side now. So I'll probably sketch this in. So that's the V shape. Put line there. Two more little petal bits. One, two, three circles. Line that. Line around and then. 
petals in the background. So guys, just one quickly because I would have just showed you how to do it, so just to speed that bit up. And then again, I'm going to go black, switch to my airbrushing tool, new layer, and I'm just going to go over all that again and create a nice outline. So if I'm spinning around so you can't work out, but I'm just doing this quickly. And it's quite simple, you're just tracing over your lines. Nothing complicated about this section. It's a good way to sort of correct as well at this sort of stage. Now don't feel like you have to stick 100% to your sketch lines. If when you look in it, you see a line that might be a bit better, just go for it. One side done. So I'm almost done with this line work now. Take your time, you ain't got to go the same speed I am. You can always pause and catch up. We'll just go back to see Lovis and catch you at 100% sure. So it's going to take off those sketch lines now. So that's what we're left with. So now I'm going to do a bit of shading. Now it's old school, so I'm going to keep the shading fairly simple. On here I'm going to create a layer, I'm going to turn the opacity down just a little bit. It's a really good tool in this, that way when I sort of do shading, you can just about see the outline for it, so you can kind of see the edge. So on here, I'm going to start off with here, bringing the shadow. Now if you're doing this on paper, don't go past the lines, this is just a very quick tool when doing it digitally. So I'm going to create the shadow just here on this back part. Very bold. And then it's going to come and erase those bits around the edge. It's just a faster way of doing it if you're doing it on the tablet. But if you're doing it on paper, just don't go over the edge. It's really simple. I'm just going to create a bit here. On this inside, just a bit underneath the eyes. Find his cheekbone. Maybe a bit just across that head, bit just there. So just rub out all those unnecessary lines you don't want. So this is. I want to shadow bits. So, so we got that. I'm going to create a little bit just here, just to go in between those gaps on the teeth, and just erase 
those bits inside the teeth. Like so. I'm just going to create another layer now. Going to select maybe an orange for this. I'm going to colour in those gaps in between, like in the eyes. I'd often do this in red, but seeing as I'm going to be doing my flowers in red, I don't want too much red in there. It's a very handy tool when you do this because you can quickly colour in a lot quicker when you can just erase the bits around the outside. Like I say, if you're doing it on paper, just don't go over the edges. It's literally the only difference you've got to do if you're doing it on paper. I'm going to select a yellow now. I'm just going to colour in a couple of teeth in yellow. Yeah, they don't want too many in yellow. Black again. It's going to put my shadows now in the uh, rows. Sorry, I'll create another layer for that actually. Again, just turn that opacity down a little bit so you can see what you're doing. So I'm just going to put a little bit of black just in each one of those petal areas. And just erase. The bits around the outside. Like so, so you've got those little gaps there. I'll create one just here on that part. I'm just going to do identical on this side. So just do exactly what we've just done again. And you can see it's starting to take shape now. It's getting there. Now I'm going to select the red. And I'm going to colour the red, leaving just a little gap just at the edge of each one of those petals. So you see, follow the exact line around, just leaving that little gap and just bold them in same thing on the inside it's going to leave a little gap just on the edge Raising those bits inside those leaf sections.
This one in the middle is going to be the only one I found. Just bowled the whole thing in. There's no real right or wrong way of doing these ones. It's just play around with different concepts. Now it's going to select dusty light blue. I'm just going to flick this in a bit from both sides, give me a little highlight just in the middle. You can do any colour you want, you can do yellow, you can use orange, purple. I'm mainly using blue because I've got yellow in the face. I don't want too much orange and yellow colours. Should I do those bits afterwards? It's going to go over the red otherwise. Now on the uh, leaves here, I'm just going to create lines coming across on one side. You can do it the other side if you want, I'm going to black out the other side. So it's just one way of doing leaves. I'll do a tutorial on how to do leaves. There's so many different variations. It's endless. Back to the colour. I'm just going to select a green now. Quite a strong, fairly dark green. So it's kind of got a bit more classic old school kind of feel to it. Just select, I'm going to select the same yellow from the tooth. Just to colour that strip down the centre and that top little triangle at the top. So, yeah, it's going to be the same on the other side now. Leaving those little gaps, colouring it in all the way around. Hold in all those little bits, leaving just that little gap. Bam. Just like that same blue. Use on those inside bits, just flip them in. You can be neat with this, I'm just flicking them in. So just black in that area. A little bit of line work, just do those lines. Just like that yellow. And 
yellow. And then it's up to you if you want to do anything else, you know, like one thing you can do, which I quite like doing. Yeah, it's about the right thickness. Because if any colour you want, it's going to do a line around the skull. Just like so. Just gonna make it stand out a little bit bold. And just give you a quick example, just how it looks if you had it other colours. Just quickly select just those bits. So you got the blue. Well the blue goes quite nice, most of those blue bits. Green. Yellow. I think I'm going to go for the blue. Quite like that blue. And there you go. There you have it. How to draw an old school skull with some old school roses. Simple as anything. I hope that has helped. We've got a bunch more videos coming out, so be sure to check them out. And a broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.